Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGaga.com This tutorial will look at how to hide error messages in your pivot tables in Excel I have a pivot table on screen at the moment the plan is to put together a quick little report and this report will produce error messages within it uh, they will look untidy we will not want to deliver that to our client or to our our boss in that way so we're going to hide the error messages to kind of clean it up so first of all let's put this pivot table together the plan is that we will have the salesperson filled within the the row labels area each unique salesperson from a list of orders on our other page and we're going to have the years the order was placed and the month that order date field is grouped by month in this column labels the amount of the order the total order amount will then be displayed in the values area so I can find out the total order amount each month over them years for each salesperson now that's fantastic but the plan is to get some kind of running uh, like comparison I want to know how how was the salesperson doing that month to how they did the month previous and I want it as a percentage rather than as a difference so where I've got my sum of order amount down in this values area I'm just going to click the little drop down arrow next to that go into value field settings use this show values as tab instead of the typical aggregate functions in this summarize area in here we'll see a drop down list of loads of useful features loads of little comparisons that uh, that we can use some brilliant stuff in here I'm going for where are you percentage difference from and when it asks me from what I'm gonna say the order date so the month and the previous one show me the percentage difference from the previous month is it better or worse and by how much we click OK, we will get that information. But as mentioned earlier, this is going to produce some error messages. And I've got some null error messages appearing in here. You know, we could argue that they're not really doing any harm. You know, it's doing its job to a degree. But they're a little bit untidy. And it's really easy in our pivot tables to hide that. You know, when we do it in Excel normally, you may use the if error function or the if function combined with. Uh, an information function like is error or is na it's far easier in pivot tables all we need to do is go to our options tab on the ribbon under our pivot table tools go to the options button on the far left of that tab and then on the layout and format tab within there we can tick the box to for error values show nothing so you do not show any error values that may come up and I'm going to click OK and then error messages will disappear that report now looks a lot better than what it did just a few seconds ago it's much cleaner much tidier uh, much more professional and that is how we can hide error values within our Excel pivot tables thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial Please check out some other office tips and tricks at ComputerGaga.